Namaste, namaste. We're here. We're here today. It's a special Sunday. Uh, we do have the Open Heart Divine Healing Service. We're here uh, actually now uh, in person as much as we can as well as on Zoom. And I want to welcome everybody from wherever you are uh, to the Open Heart Divine Healing Service. Um, I'm Baba Sharon, and we are here in Sarasota, Florida at the Cosmic Center of Spiritual Life. We also have a wonderful ordination that's going to take place a little bit later on. So this is a very special Sunday indeed. Uh, one of the things I'd like to do, because there are some new people here, is explain a little bit about the Open Heart Divine Healing Service, actually how it came to be. So actually, the Open Heart Divine Healing Service was where actually I had an immediate healing. And that came about as a result, which was leading up to uh, Metatron. Metatron, who I was not familiar with, I knew the other archangels, but I never really became aware of Metatron until much later and had an experience with that. But then that led to uh, truly uh, the anchoring of the Holy Spirit. And there were a number of people that had um, spontaneous healings uh, during that time. This gentleman by the name of Dr. Alm. And uh, that's what basically happened. So of course, uh, the idea behind this is that you must share it with other people. So I'm here to say that in this presence over here is that energy that is anchored in this space. The idea of the Open Heart Divine Healing Service is that as we can hold unconditional love, that's really it, it's easier said than done, but keeping and developing the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love is the connection to the higher spiritual realms of light. And that is where we can make the connection between heaven and earth because healing is a multi-dimensional thing. It's not just a simple thing. So, you know, you may have an uh, issue going on that's connected to the star Polaris. We are cosmic in being. So we here in this reality bite we have to ask the higher dimensional beings of light who sees the bigger picture than we're able to for that healing. Healing can come in many different ways, but I can assure you, it is a journey to heal. <laughs> and the divine guidance will come whether you get a spontaneous healing or not. Some people do, some people don't. It doesn't matter. Healing is gonna come the way that best suits you for your spiritual path and wholeness. That's how this is going to happen. The foundation, I'll just go into everything, of the Open Heart Divine Healing Service is forgiveness, 100%. And the easiest thing to do is just simply to say, forgive everybody and everything. Because really, when you think about it, you look at the world, if somebody can even make it in this world, you have to go like this, okay? Not easy. So we can't judge all we can do okay, is anchor the light and hold a higher heart of compassion because that's what's going to move through all those things, illusions and delusions, okay, that are part of this world is holding that. So the forgiveness is an important component. It is the foundation. There's two other components to that too. And the second one after forgiveness is going to be the fact that you must know that you are worthy of healing. There are people who think that somehow they're less than or they're not worthy of love or, and if that's that thinking, then that is a block. First of all, is a reminder that we hold the similitude of the divine. We come from high aeons of light and we hold that spark, the fact that you exist Okay, as though they call the Adam Kadman, okay, the, the tribe of, 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 um, of Adam, okay, the Adamic race, we are the, 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 we hold that similitude. The big illusion is the world will tell you that you don't and you're less than and you're not worthy of. So that's the illusion that has to be completely dissolved. And not that everything goes just like that, you have to work at it. You have to work the saying, I am worthy, I am worthy, I'm worthy of love, I'm worthy of healing. But you have to work at forgiveness, forgiveness, everything and everybody. Generations back, okay? Ancestors are hoping that we will go ahead and just take care of everything that needs to be uh, healed and forgiven. 
And then the third thing that's important is that if somebody comes in to say, well, prove it to me that I can be healed and come in like this, well, that's not going to happen. And at the very minimum, if you're open to healing, healing will happen. But at some point, you will truly believe that healing can take place. And then you'll come to the point where you know healing happens as you work your journey. So uh, that's what we do here. The other thing I want to mention, you're going to see a lot of what we do is in Hebrew. Okay, and there are five, okay, um, uh, what we call uh, light languages or special languages on this earth, on this planet, and Hebrew is one of them, Sanskrit, uh, also Tibetan, uh, Egyptian, and Chinese, and those are the most ancient sounds as close as we can get to the, uh, the original a sound of the Adamic race, the original sounds. And that's what mantras are all about. And that's all that is repeating these sounds, okay, that can align you frequency wise to tap into these higher parts of ourselves. So that is the reason that we mostly do Hebrew only because for the Western mind is an easier way to go with that. And um, so that is what we're gonna start. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the vibration and how we're going to raise the vibration, we are going to sing. And uh, the first thing I'd like to talk a little bit for those who are new about what this is. This is Reverend Robin, and this is Reverend Annie Inc., or known as Annie Law. Um, you could talk a little bit about this instrument because it is unique. This is the, it it's was invented, it was invented by Barbara Hero, but it was based on Pythagoras's lambda, which is mathematical. So in mathematics, you have frequencies that match um, a harmonious levels. And Pythagoras, as you all know, was uh, the founder of one of the mystery schools. And he was educated in Egypt with all the higher mathematics. And he based the lambda on certain mathematical harmonious levels. And this is what this is based on. You have the lambda, but it's got a frequency. Mathematically, it goes up in any frequency and it divides down. And so the interesting phenomenon about this that's very healing and very wonderful is it can be keyed in any frequency and you're playing harmonious mathematical music fractal frequencies, both a division of or a multiple of that particular frequency, which you can't get in a regular instrument. So this is, you know, you can take a sofagio frequency, you can take any frequency, and then you can key the entire keyboard in it. So when we key this, it's in the frequency of 528, which is based on unconditional love. It's one of the sacred sofagio frequencies but it's not just playing 528, it's gonna play any multiple of it or any division of it. So that's the interesting phenomenon about this. And even Pythagoras had medicinal mu music that he would play every day. So it was based on this and we can key it in 432, you can key it on any frequency you so desire. And F sharp frequency was actually one of what the mystery schools used to open portals. Yeah. So, so 528 is what this is key to uh, for that unconditional love frequency. And uh, as we keep on working at it, it is a shift when you do get up to the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to ask everybody to stand, please. And everybody should have a bulletin hopefully if you don't it's outside there okay get a bulletin if you don't have one okay so the energy has already been here we've had so much stuff going on here friday we had a uh, Lori spagna here with the dna activation and all kind of that was for three hours here that was phenomenal. Yesterday, we had a special sacred ceremony with Reverend Annie. That was like a whole day event. And here we are today. So we are really charged. <laughs> so we're going to really bring this energy up, get the higher celestial realms of light anchored in here. So we're going to start with the song Hallelujah. And we'll all start. 
Hallelujah, 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 yes, that's my Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 one more time, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, be seated. And if you go to your bulletin, we're going to say the great invocation. And we need to move that on the um, the great invocation is on there. Okay. No, it's on the picture. Okay, the great invocation. Some of you are familiar with the great invocation. It is the mantra for the new age of all humanity. We say the 1945 original version. And just knowing that this prayer has been said around the world in all kinds of languages to bring us to where we are today. So I always honor those who have done this and the light workers before us to set the foundation. So let's all say together the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and life work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Go back to the first page of the agenda. I would say Eya Asha Eya, which is the oldest name of God in the Judeo Christian records. And the congregation would say, I am that I am, most powerful, powerful name of God. So let us all start. Eya Asha Eya. I am that I am. Eya Asha Eya. I am that I am. Eya Asha Eya. I am that I am. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sabayoth. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sabayoth. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sabayoth. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of Let love and light, peace and harmony, joy and charity be in this place now. Let love and light, peace and harmony, joy and charity be in this place now. Let love and light, peace and harmony, joy and charity be in this place now. And now, and just um, uh, a note for the Kadoish, 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 Adonai Sabayo. For those of you who are not familiar with that, that is the seraphim. That is the higher celestial realms that sing around the throne. So if anything, those words are so powerful, the divine protection, and for many other things, it's good that you would know what that is. Okay, so now we're going to go to... We're going to sing the Lord's Prayer. You'll see it on the second page on the left-hand side. It's in Hebrew. We're going to sing it, and then afterwards, we're going to say it in the vernacular, which is English, in our case. 
But those of you who are new, just follow along. It's pretty simple. Avinu Shafa Shamayim Yekada Shameheka Tauma Kuteheka Yeh Rezonka Komo Ba Shamayim Kehiba Ares Elekum Uheinu Telahanu Ha Let thy name be sanctified. May thy kingdom come. Let your will take place as it is in the heavens, so also upon the earth. Give us today the bread for this day. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven our debtors. And let us not into hands of temptation and deliver us from evil. Amen, 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 and amen. To the front of your program, please. As I mentioned before, the foundation of the Open Heart Divine Healing Service is forgiveness. And so we're now going to go to the very back page, and you will see the gift of life prayer, prayer of personal forgiveness. Let's all say it together. I bless this day and give thanks for my life. God, I am your child, your humble child. I give you my love and thank you for your constant love and blessings. God, I ask that you help me forgive and release completely and totally all people who have hurt me through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help all people I have hurt through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing, to forgive and release me completely and totally. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help me forgive and release myself completely and totally for all the times I have hurt myself or hurt others through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help all life forms I have hurt in any way at any time to forgive and release me completely and totally. Please, God, please, God, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God. I ask that you help me to be forgiven and released completely and totally for all my hurts or wrongs to the earth and the life of the earth through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing. Please, God, please, God, 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. With this release, freedom, peace, power, and new life, I bless all creation in the entire universe, and I fill the entire universe with my love. I love and bless the earth, all life, and all humanity. I love, bless, and respect the visible and the invisible. I rejoice and give thanks for my new life, power, and health and give complete blessings and love to all life, always. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For where two or three are gathered in my name as my followers, there I am among them. Matthew 18, 20. But for you are to revere my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in its rays, and you will go forth and frolic. Malachi 4.2. I have not come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit. Corinthians 2.4. In my father's house, there are many mansions. John 14.2. If you would go to the front page. Thank you. We're going to sing, come and pray with us, Holy Spirit. And I just want to take this time to mention why are we singing? Why are we saying the names of God? Because in this multiverse, which is beyond our own ability to perceive and understand it in its fullness, everything is vibration. So your voice, your thoughts are vibrations. And through everything, okay, in this when even though we are part of this grand harmonic, your voice can be heard, identified in the higher realms. Absolutely. Not only your voice, the very frequency as you walk your path of light shows up on other realms. And by color and geometries, which is basically how they could tell where you are in frequency. So as you raise your frequency, as we say this, as we call upon the Shekinah presence, as we do these names, what is happening? It is raising our own frequency, whether you feel it or not. The fact that you're in it is raising it. And who can tell? <laughs> the higher parts of yourself. Your higher self can tell. That's bringing in more connection there, as well as the radiant ones and higher dimensional realms of light. So know that when you sing, when you give your voice in prayer, it is unique to you. So with that, let's sing, come pray with us. Holy Spirit, follow along. It's pretty much simple. Come and pray with us. Holy Spirit, rule power. Come and pray with us. Oh, Spirit, come and pray with us. Holy Spirit, come and pray. Come and pray with us, Holy Spirit. Come and pray, to the next page this is the time for the chanting of the sacred names of god 
Generally, we use some of the names, but it is in the moment, so other names may come up. Not to worry, we'll go over it. It's easy, you canter, you just follow along. But before we do that, I'm gonna ask everybody here, the divine presence of the Shekinah, to take a deep breath in and become centered. As we pray to Leo with Shekinah, the pillar of light of divine presence. Blessed are thou, the eternal, our God, king of the universe, queen of the universe, who produces the works of creation through the Leowa Shekinah, so that we are protected and instructed <clears throat> in all ways. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. amen. The divine presence Shekinah, the Holy Spirit, that is anchoring here right now. That's the primary presence that's here. The divine presence is both male and female in its fullness. Since the power that comes from forth from the divine is transformative and creative, the focus is on the feminine aspect. It is the energy force permeating the codes and the thought forms of the logos and the words sent out from the father. Her presence makes up what is called in the keys of Enoch, the Shekinah universe, connected with the implicate order which underlies the transcendent form of this material universe. This is she, but she is so much more. In fact, there is a thing that is truly separate. Nothing is separate from her. Her power is the essence behind the quantum fields of life and all consciousness existence. Let us do this meditation. O oh, divine presence, we call upon you to manifest your light and your power within and through us so that we can feel, we can know the love of the divine intimately and always. We know if we carefully weigh our thoughts in meditation and ask from our utmost self with purity of heart, you, O Shekinah, will reveal yourself to us and your gifts. We know that our thoughts are to receive 10 billion eightfold impulses of different light appearances from the infinite universes but it is only your presence that can reveal to us the ultimate truth. Through your presence of revealing higher knowledge within us, victory is assured. Let us also acknowledge your power from the realms of the divine spirit, the spirit that mothers us. O oh, presence, O oh, most holy presence, who revealed herself through the glory of yod heh vod -Hey. May your radiant splendor shine over us and all those who seek your anointing light. Let a Shekinah blessing go out in golden, radiant, white light. And let us feel the white dove hover over our heads as a witness of our spirit, bearing witness with the Holy Spirit. We visualize the vectors of the human body being changed into the vectors of the Zohar or glorified body. Through the Shekinah, which also monitors the interdimensional and subatomic kingdoms of organization. As we sing the hymns of the Shekinah, we are irradiated with wave of the wave of colors of the rainbow and beyond the colors that we are able to see, perceive in this world. Suddenly, the return of the dove becomes our very body resurrected into glory. Blessed art thou, O Shekinah, who spreadest thy tabernacle of peace over us. And over all thy people, pour forth divine gifts to strengthen your presence within us. Amen, 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 amen. and amen. And now we're going to say, you'll see it on the left-hand side. We're going to say Yod He Vod He. Okay. And Yod He Vod He is the ineffable name. You'll see that over here. 
It is when the ancient rabbis wouldn't even utter the name. You can't actually say the name because there are no uh, uh, vowels. So in order for us to utter it, we had to insert some vowels so we can even say the name. But this is known as the ineffable name of the God of God, El El Elyon, the highest, the one supreme, Yuhevod Hey. So we say it with reverence and we're all gonna say it together. Elohim means the Godhead and we're gonna follow on with this. Yod Hey, Yod Hey. presence as it continues to amplify in contemplating the totality of our existence. Let us be of one mind and spirit to allow the physical body vehicle to be open to this teaching as we pray. Divine Father, Divine Mother, you have given us all your holy names, especially the Divine Hashem, yod hey vod hey that is the basis of the personal Abba, Father, which Jesus used in the Lord's Prayer. Allow us to use your holy names, El El and Yan, the Most High God, in order that we may activate our calling within the divine family of light. 
Allow us to sing your holy names in the presence of great archangels, the ultra, ultra terrestrials and other light intelligences so that we may be all blessed together. We ask for the blessing for the sign of Michael, Mika Eliu, who works with the Ain Sof, the limitless light, who works with the Adonai Melech Meshiha, the one who brings lordship, kingship, and a messianic power. May the lordship of the greater light dimensions be activated within us. And may we reflect the kingship as part of the king of kings as we put our crowns of light, Kepha Or, and become activated as the seventh seal opens. And now we're going to do the name of Metatron, also known as El Shaddai. Ami Shaddai. And I think on this one, I'll just do Kentor. <clears throat> Metatron, 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 El Shaddai, Metatron, El Shaddai, Metatron, El Shaddai, Metatron, El Shaddai. Metatron El Shaddai, 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 Ami Shaddai, Metatron El Shaddai, Metatron El Shaddai, Metatron El Shaddai, Metatron El Shaddai, Ami Shaddai, Metatron El Shaddai. Metatron El Shaddai, 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 Metatron El Shaddai. Metatron El Shaddai, 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 Metatron El Shaddai. Take a deep breath in. Now we call on the Ani Yahweh Rofeka, Ani Yahweh Rofeka. It is not on your program. I will simply say it. Ani Yahweh Rofeka, I am Yod He Vod He that heals you. I am Yod He Vod He that heals you. I am Yod He Vod He that heals you. God is the source of infinite healing, the one who can eternally restore our perfect life force. This power has been associated with the healing rays of Archangel Raphael, who brings forth an energy medicine of light for the restoration and the restoration of our being. The divine heals not only imperfections of our physical body, but the divisions of our spiritual body, bringing healing between all levels of separation, including the religious split that separated Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The daughter religions that trace their origins to the same book of Genesis, of the living God. <laughs> Ultimately, it is in the bringing forth of the true and pure light emanations containing the perfect blueprint, which restores us to our purified threefold nature of body, mind, and spirit existing in perfect divine alignment. Take a deep breath in. <coughs> Most precious and exalted Lord who heals, examine my physical body and spiritual nature with a penetrating insight and restore my soul. I call upon thee, Ani Yahweh Rofeka, 
to heal all of whom I am thinking of at this time. Hear and grant my prayers and requests. May thy heal us from all sickness, suffering, and imbalances, and bring a complete restoration of health in body, mind, and spirit to the people throughout the world. May the healing powers protect and preserve us and those of the animal kingdom in the face of vast planetary changes. I pray now in this moment, especially for those who need thy blessing at this time that they will be completely healed through your divine healing emanations. If it be thy will bring forth thy divine intercession. I now visualize an emanation of healing power from the heart of my higher over self, restoring, replenishing me in my time of need. I see the perfect power of unconditional love being sent down to me now and to all my friends who are now are being restored into perfect beings through the healing rays of the divine. Breathe deep and exhale the white light of the Shekinah. Breathe in the white emanating light and exhale the white emanating light of the Holy Spirit. Breathe in deep into your body, into every cell and breathe it out into the world, the divine Shekinah presence that has made her presence known. Be open, be open to know that this divine grace that flows in is limitless, eternal, and powerful. It is transcendent. It has the ability to transmute. It is endless in its compassionate love and so we breathe in the very rarefied air that is no longer the air of the earth, but it is now in this sacred space upon this holy ground, the rarefied air of the spirit. So we breathe in this elixir of life. We breathe in deeply because we re-remember who we are and that we breathe the breath of Brahma. We breathe the breath of the divine. And as each and every holy sacred in breath and out breath, we feel the divine sacred presence permeable and moving into every aspect of our being, not only physical, but mental and emotional. Not only in this moment, but in all the moments of various lifetimes and various and various abilities to walk on various paths of timelines. We remember that we are one and that we have the ability to tap into the higher parts of ourselves that are radiant lights filled with the power of the divine. And as we breathe deeply in and out, we can feel the transformative healing taking place. You may feel it moving through your spine, through your nervous system, tingling in your soles of your feet or the palms of your hand, or perhaps in the fingertips, even upon the hair. As this translucent white Shekinah presence and this emanating white light that holds all the colors of the multiverse. And there is a color and a combination of colors that is for you, unique to you, coming from the divine presence. And as you open your heart, as you open your mind, as you open up to divine spiritual healing that is transcendent to all dis-ease, impairments, 
miscreations and distortions. As you soar higher up in the frequency that flows in into the higher realms of the Shekinah presence, as you feel the shifting in your physical, mental, and emotional bodies, as you hold on to this vibration and allow it to bring you into the higher electron spin of your own atomic and subatomic bodies, as you easily can assimilate into this frequency band of healing and balance. We heal not only ourselves and bring forth balance, but we also heal our lineage. We also bring into balance our lineage, our ancestors, the descendants to come. We hold this for the Adamic race. We hold this for the world. We hold it for all the kingdoms of the world. We re remember who we are as we're soaring higher and higher in frequency, higher and higher in frequency. As we may begin to feel chills, as we may begin to feel a higher frequency as you tap in and allow this loving, compassionate presence to soar you into higher healing, higher wisdom, higher understanding. So we breathe. We breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath, and the restoration power flows from the divine through the over-self body that we each possess and restores us according to the perfect blueprint of the divine codes from which we came. Let us now see and experience the perfection of creation coming forth so that we who share in the similitude of the radiant light and love may be cleansed and healed by the holy waters of divine consciousness. We breathe with intention. Allow your messianic power to be given to each of us that we may partake of the power of the Holy Spirit and offer up the kingdom of man with the angelic ones and with the office of the Christ. Allow us also to re-energize ourselves so that we may be part of the divine triplet the Father who administrates, the Son who delivers, and the Holy Spirit who reveals and recycles the power and grace of the Ain Soul, so that our body, mind, and divine soul may be of one unity. O oh, Divine Father, we bless your name and your majesty. May the vibrations that connect all the temples of the world be connected with our body, that the living temple so that the message of the Christ may be fulfilled. Just as the physical temple was transformed upon the earth in three days, we who are your temple of spirit have now come to activate the living capstone and cornerstone and to reactivate the light garment. Allow your temple of spirit to connect all the temples, all the churches, and all the ashrams of the world in this awakening of the foundation stone, the rock of salvation. In this we call you Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Lord of the hierarchies, who lives eternally. Amen, 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 amen. and amen. Probably not going to use any more of this. And we're going to close with Ezri and Paltia Tayo Bebohe, but I feel that we should be singing and making more vibrations. The energy is still coming in. It's not so, you know, we're just going to go with the flow. You want to go with the flow? No, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Ezri and Paltia Tayo Bebohe. Ezri and Paltia Tayo Bebohe. Ezreal party a tie, your table, hey. Ezreal party a tie, your table, hey. 
as we will part here, tie your head or hay, as we will part here, tie your head or hay, as we will part here, tie your head or hay, as we will part here, tie your head or hay, as we will part here, tie your head or hay, as we will part here, tie your head or hay. I behold the healing nature of the divine radiating through me and activating my heart chakra. I behold all of the beings who surround me with love and offer me their spiritual support. I reject those not of the divine host who want only to control me or have me control others. Once I have surpassed this temptation, I can see clearly enough to behold the all penetrating divine eye, which continually watches over me. Whether it be from the divine host or directly from the powers of renewal and transformation from the Supreme One, I see in this vision how the divine is guiding me in my every action. I lack nothing because you have helped me and I am no longer alone. And I'm going to ask Robin and Annie. Annie's going to say a very special song right now. They're not going to do it. Annie is going to um, sing uh, sounds that come from the Pistis Sophia. It is a Gnostic gospel, and I would recommend as you are on your spiritual path, you become familiar with the Gnostic gospels because they fill in a lot of the blanks of our traditional. So there's more information and it's like a, a jigsaw, like, oh, that's what the right hand of God means. Oh, that's what the left hand of God. So it's you expand your awareness and just know that any intention to grow spiritually, okay, is a grace and a blessing in itself. And it opens up. Uh, higher um, understanding and and wisdom. So what Annie's going to sing, and by the way, she actually is the creator of the song, not, not the ancient sounds, but the song, is what Jesus, the Christ, the risen Jesus, gave these sounds. They no longer know what it means, mm -hmm. but they know what the phonics are. So just know that this came out of the sound vibration of Jesus the Christ. Yeah. 
Blessed are they who seek the light, for light shall be given. Blessed are they who knock on a door, the door shall be opened. Blessed are the children of light, the Ami Shaddai, who are here upon the earth to bring light to the world. Blessed are they that hold the heart of love and compassion. Blessed are they who seek the healing of themselves so they can hold more light and be a light to others. Blessed are the children of light because they are here to bring the earth out of its state of darkness. As ye seek, you shall be sought, you shall be blessed, you shall be healed, and you shall be restored. Amen, 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 amen. and amen. <clears throat> and just, I know this energy is kind of knocked out something. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to ask just a few of the chords, and then just to wind everybody to come back and anchor this high energy that came in. <laughs> Yeah. 
will of the divine presence that has made itself known as the Shekinah presence. When you go to bed tonight, before you go to sleep, if you could bring forth the experience for it to continue in the days, weeks, and months to come. As your connection is now stronger, as you sense and feel that the energy is light, simply the intention, simply the intention and heartfelt request to have that presence around you always. stay <laughs> and not have to come back but I want to uh, thank everybody for um, participating on here uh, know for our zoom light workers that the very presence and connection that we are connected through hearts and minds so no longer do you have to be in a physical location just the intention connects us so I want to thank all of you blessings to all of you we thank you for your financial support of the cosmic center spiritual light you can simply go on our website, ccosl.com, and you'll see a donation page. We thank you for your loving support, and we will see you next time.